Let's compare a bunch of email infrastructure tools for cold email so you could know which one you should choose according to your needs, according to pricing, which one is best, which one has the best deliverability, all of the, that good stuff, features, right? So we're comparing them all, private, shared infrastructure, great deliverability, bad deliverability, fast setup, automated, not automated, cheap, expensive, let's do it all. So starting off with pricing. So, okay, so for each app that wins a feature is best at the feature, I'll give a star. So at the end of the video, you can see which uh, app has the most stars and is the best. So now pricing is a little, a little bit uh, interesting because some apps charge you for a bunch of mailboxes right away, but uh, individually the mailboxes are quite affordable and some are just resellers. So it's a little bit different, right? Or private and not private infrastructure. So generally, most uh, email service providers, infrastructure providers will be cheaper than Gmail and Outlook. As you can see, Gmail and Outlook starts at $7 per month, while others start at usually three to $4. As you can see, $5 mail scale. If you buy a bulk, you can of course go lower like with other platforms. And generally, if you want to buy from resellers, you can get the cheapest option, which is usually $3 to two and a half dollars. And we, as you can see, Fhost having $1.50. But because this is a reseller, I, I'll give a start to, to some options that are not resellers like MailForge or InfraForge or MailScale, right? Doing quite affordable or MailDoso. So I'll give all three of them a star, right? So now automated setup, as you, as you may know, your email infrastructure is quite difficult to set up. You need DNS records, mailboxes, all of that good stuff. So the beauty of not using Google or Outlook is that you can automate the setup up, right? So most apps have it done in minutes, some in seconds, as you can see here, right? But some providers, usually resellers, have it... Uh, longer like one day delivery two days delivery some have four days i'm pretty sure as you can see here three days um my dog is just going bonkers some apps even require you to book a demo so of course we're going to award uh, the uh, the ones that do it uh, the fastest i have quite a few reviews at the bottom as you can see here so you can see it for yourself that a setup is definitely in seconds now i'm not going to give a star for this feature which is infrastructure because it's it's optional right it depends what which one you want there are shared infrastructures private infrastructures google and outlook use uh, shared and we're comparing everything to them basically because they're the most popular the the most popular option used for cold email but really it depends which one you want uh my dog sneezed bless you you might need private infrastructure you know you might need shared uh, usually depends really what you want right what do you think which one do you want so yeah just it depends what you want pick what you want and go with it right now deliverability not many uh, apps share the deliverability it's of course the super important part right you want the best deliverability possible mission inbox shared on their website everything is taken from the websites by the way more than 50 percent open rate uh, inframail 88 percent score uh, for mailforge and infraforge we have the screenshots as you can see here let me just uh enlarge them as you can see on third party and warm forge they are performing uh very well 10 out of 10 so very good another screenshot here right mail scale advertises 95 percent mail so 99 percent deliverability uh, mail reef shared this it, it's uh, doing 51 percent i'm guessing this is open rate i'm not really sure others also have shared uh, third party provider metrics scaled mail has 10 out of 10 very nice but most of them are in the high 90s right now another important feature is ips right uh, ips mean is basically the server you're using to create and host the mailboxes on. So distributing this is important, right? Uh, and not sharing this with other people is important. That's why you, you may want to opt for private infrastructure. But here we want to take a look at which software actually gives uh, us the to distribute, uh, diversify our uh, infrastructure, right? And I forgot to give the, share, the, the, the stars for deliverability. So I'm just going to give it to these ones that shared third-party data. Google and Outlook, of course, they do not provide you extra IPs. Uh, Mission Inbox, you can buy five different IPs for $80. For InfraMail, you can pay $100 per IP per month. InfraForge, you can get same price and others do not provide it. So if you want to diversify your email infrastructure, 
you should go with one of these options. Now proxies are something uh, new in cold email space. What they do is increase your deliverability by instead of redirecting users going to your secondary domain, instead it simply just mimics or mirrors the content on your primary domain. It, I explained it a lot in other videos, but it's an, another feature that just boosts your deliverability, right? And it's one of the aspects of best email sending practices, right? It's something that you should be doing and probably in the future, it will become the bare minimum like it always does. Now, none of the platforms pro provide uh, proxies. Uh, Mailforge does, Infraforge does, so I'll give them a star. Also, I'll give uh, Infraforge, Inframail and Mission Inbox a star because they provi provide IPs and I forgot to give a star. Now, domain transferring, mo majority of the providers allow it if it's a deal breaker for you then of course do not choose these apps do not choose zengrid uh do not choose scaled mail premium mailboxes uh inboxes sorry and all of that now there are other features that i wanted to mention right so for example what google has internet introduced recently is uh, ai in their emails right you can write a response you can summarize an email so uh features like that uh, uh, for example what mailforge has is the mailbox calculator you can determine how many mailboxes and domains you need to send out a certain amount of emails and contact a certain amount of prospects same goes with infraforge because they're from the same company and they cover the whole ecosystem meaning you have warm-up you have ai uh, personalized cold emails you have agent frank you have leads oh all of that good stuff uh outreach today also has auto warm-up sendgrid email api included here in forges as well uh superwave increases your email sending limits per domain and uh, uh, other ones do not really have any features that i thought i would share if there are any features that are a deal breaker for you please let me know down below if you want access to this file simply subscribe and leave a comment but otherwise just take a look at which apps got the most stars and probably opt for those mailforge infraforge uh, perhaps mildoso being quite affordable scaled mail having great deliverability infra mail oh f60 haas being the cheapest reseller but you have to look at which of the resellers are actually selling mailboxes with us or europe ips because indian ips could get could get penalized and all of that stuff so it was me sam have a good one and peace